It also got this new life in the antipsychotic world, interestingly enough. The first drug that was created as an antipsychotic was created from methylene blue because methylene blue has this other capacity, which is called being a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. And I was alluding to this earlier when we were talking about SSRIs briefly, is that you increase the amount of dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine in the synapse. And so this is actually mood boosting on its own. And methylene blue has been studied in depression and bipolar and others. And there are integrative psychiatrists that are using methylene blue to wean their patients off of the SSRIs and SNRIs rise of the world. Wow. Side note, you know, depression is not because of a serotonin deficiency. And we know that now from all the meta-analysis and things that have came out over the last couple of years. So that's kind of a side story, but it's an important one because you know, when people take methylene blue, that is something that needs to be uh, just made people aware of. And yeah. if you are on an SSRI or an SNRI or a dopaminergic drug, like you're taking one for Parkinson's, for example, then you don't really want to take these methylene blue containing compounds unless you're being followed very closely with a practitioner. So I have tons of practitioners that we work with that use methylene blue with patients that are on these drugs, but doing it very safely, very slowly, and you know, monitoring slowly. I mean, the, the risks are actually very small, but it's just really important to, to do that yeah. in, regardless.